You're on deck with Ursula Camille, and this is The Triage Room. The Triage Room is a podcast that encourages and empowers listeners to overcome obstacles of pain. Pain is the physical suffering or discomfort caused by illness or injury. When we describe the type of pain we're having, we're really describing the symptoms. Once we identify the symptoms, then we can deal with the roots. Welcome to The Triage Room. You're now on deck with Ursula Camille, and this is The Triage Room. Today's topic, put not your trust. Let's take a look at Psalm 146. Praise ye the Lord. Praise the Lord, O my soul. While I live, will I praise the Lord. I will sing praises unto my God while I have any being. Put not your trust in princes, nor in the son of man, in whom there is no help. His breath goeth forth. He returneth to his earth. In that very day, his thoughts perish. Happy is he that hath the God of Jacob for his help whose hope is in the Lord his God, which made heaven and earth the sea and all that therein is, which keepeth truth forever, which executeth judgment for the oppressed, which giveth food to the hungry. The Lord looseth the prisoners. The Lord openeth the eyes of the blind. The Lord raiseth them that are bowed down. The Lord loveth the righteous. The Lord preserveth the strangers. He relieveth the fatherless and widow. But the way of the wicked, he turneth upside down. The Lord shall reign forever. Even thy God, O Zion, unto all generations, praise ye the Lord. So here we can see the Lord is the one that provides. He's the one that opens the eyes of the blind. He's the one that believes the widows and the fatherless. He's the one that executes justice for the oppressed. It's the Lord that provides food for the hungry. So when we look at verse three, when it says, put not your trust in princes, nor in the son of man. This is not putting trust in those who may have some type of influence, some form of leadership, not to put your trust there just because that is the position that they hold. And then across the board overall, not to put your trust in man, period, because man Man cannot give us salvation. Man will die. At some point, the breath will leave the body. And there's nothing that man can do outside of God without God allowing it or permitting it. God is our source. So God will use others for certain things. But people, man within itself, is not the source, is not the answer, is not the final solution for whatever that need may be. We are to look to God and not put our trust in man. Our trust goes to God. And here we can also see happy is he whose hope is in the Lord. And here's my moment of transparency. As I was in a place of prayer, you know, seeking God like, Lord, okay, what is it you want me to share? And the Lord put this in my spirit. And I was reminded of the times past where I could see how one could become an easy target for the enemy. Putting trust and believing what man says and what man will do versus going straight to the source, knowing that God is the one that works through man. God is our source and seeing how easily one can become prey to those who see that one will hang on to every word coming out of the mouth of man, one looking and seeking man to solve an issue, to seeking man, to looking at man as the reason why, or looking at man as the uh, final solution for a problem. Salvation does not come through man. Salvation, man is not the reason why one has salvation. It is because of God. We look at not putting our trust in man, man will fail you. Our help comes from the Lord. And when we see that, And when we understand that, then we understand and know what it is to give God all the praise, all the glory, and all the honor. Because that's how the enemy can come in if one does not understand that God is the reason why one is eating. God is the reason why one now was once blind, but now they can see. God is the one who brought justice for the oppressed. And when it comes to the wicked, that way that they're on is made crooked by the Lord. That God is the one who is our help. God is the one who 
sees us through whatever that situation may be. So I encourage you, put not your trust in man, but only put your trust in God. Putting your trust in man is not the right way, for God is a jealous God, and it will leave you in a place broken, disappointed, and easy prey for the enemy. For God is our source, and he works through others for whatever may be needed to be done in that moment. But he is to get all the praise, all the glory, and all the honor. Let us pray. Father God, I come to you in the name of Jesus, Lord, just to say thank you. I thank you for life, health, and strength. Lord, I ask you that those that are in a place of change, there's something, Lord, in their life that has caused a change. And in this time, Lord, I ask you to give them the strength during this change. That they make wise decisions, knowing that you are the source. And that whatever is needed at this time, God, it, it comes through you. You are the source. You provide. You are a provider. You're a way maker. And that they are to seek you and put their trust in you and not man. Putting trust in man will lead them astray, lead them in the wrong direction. So, God, I ask you during this time to reveal to them what needs to be revealed. Open their eyes where they were once blind in some areas to see what needs to be seen. And to know that when they put their trust in you, all is well. Lord, I thank you, I praise you, and I glorify your name. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. You all be blessed. Thank you for joining me on deck in the triage room. To get the music you hear in this podcast or to stay connected, visit my website, UrsulaCamille.com. That's U-R-S-E-L-A-C-A-M-I-L-L-E.com. Sign up on my email list, get merch and more. Have an area of pain you want to address in the triage room? Send your email to thetriageroom at gmail.com. I'm your host, Ursula Camille, signing off. Be blessed. One touch and your life will change. Did you know that Jesus reigns? One touch and your life will change.